Hi, and welcome to this video on using ArcGIS Online. I can uh, take a web browser and I can Google ArcGIS Online and I can sign in on it. And so yes, you enter your credentials. So once uh, it's, uh, it's uh, signed in, you'll go into your, in this case, this is our organizational um, ArcGIS Online. Um, will look different for, for you because I am the admin of it. Um, but what we're interested in is really this part that's called content. So we'll go to content, let's maximize this. So here's our layer and what we'll do is that we have some different things we have to set on it, options that we have to set. So I just first click on it to bring this layer up in my editor here. And there's different things we have to do. First of all, I want to enable attachment so we can take a photograph of um, the different um, element arc pieces that we've been working with. So I just click enable uh, uh, this uh, attachments and then I'll go to settings and um, I would say that well we don't want to work with the whole of the world so I'll just go in and uh, set a extent to uh, somewhere around Denmark uh, doesn't have to be so precise for this uh, so I'll just draw an extent and say uh, we're going to do art registration on Zealand uh, and say OK. So now I've added an extent to my data set. Um, and I'll just save that. I will then go down and say I would like to enable ed editing. So this is what this is for. So it's not. I can have a layer just to show on uh, ArcGIS Online and if I do not use editing it will be much quicker than if I enable editing so only enable editing if you want to do that and I will ask it to keep track of who has made the edits so if I have more than one person in the field I can see who has done it and I will enable synchronization that means that you can uh, take the data offline uh, and bring it into your feet in the field where you do not have an internet connection do the data collection go back to where you are online and then upload the data so I enable this one also then I have to decide um, who I have the share of and I've already set that in ArcGIS Pro and what should people be allowed to I'll let them add update and delete features so that's the, the most one but I will restrict people to only be able to add the ones that they have created themselves and delete those that have created themselves. Um, editors that um, are anonymous, I shouldn't have any of those, but if I had, yeah, I will see that they will uh, uh, be the same here. So they can only add new features, they can't delete them and I can see all the anonymous ones and get them out if I need it. And um, I think that's that. Um, if I wanted to be nice to people working with other software than ArcGIS, I can add this one, allow other to export the data in different formats so they can use the data from themselves in QGIS or something else. Um, yeah, I'll be curious why I do that. So I'll save these changes. And uh, once that's done, I can uh, go back to my overview. And over here, where it says open the map, there's this drop box down here. Very important, you choose the, the drop down menu. And go and choose this one, which is called add a new map with full editing control. Otherwise it will not work in uh, our collector 
and I will uh, zoom my map. campus area there oh, back. Uh, so um, I've done it I've got my art here if you see uh, I have different options here I can have a legend and you can see it has the symbols that I added in Arc uh, GIS Pro, so they are ready to use. And the only thing I'd have to do here, of course, I can use this, I can share the link. That is a possibility to share the link to this website. And then anyone else could go in and with that link, if they had the right, they can go in and say, I want to add an installation. I'll just put it up here somewhere in the field. Uh, And uh, it will then add a point. And I could then say whatever I wanted to do and um, close that. So now I have one data point up there in that field. Um, so you can use it, you can share the link and allow other people to add data on a web page. So if you're doing a project about uh, a minority group then you want to look at how they use a specific space you can uh, you can give them a link to a website and then you can use that to edit data so i'll just save this one as I call it art map uh, i would say it's a rook project it's a demo project and uh, mapping art in um, adding art in public oh, crap, I put approximately there um, so I'll save this map and that's all that's to it from the ARC JS Online part.